All right. So I promised to uh, help you install OpenCV and animate uh, any character with your uh, with your webcam and uh, artificial intelligence. And I promised that it would be done in uh, it will be done in January. So here's how I did. I hope I won't miss any step because it's uh, it's now more than a month ago. So first of all, you need to understand that it's a lengthy um, process, and we need to go through Python details and so on. Uh, I'll try to to cut some some corners to to help you, but um, well, you've been advised that it may take some uh, some time to uh, to do it. Okay, so maybe you've seen the other video about OpenCV and Blender 2.8, and I will put the link in the description here. But uh, if you want to to build it and to 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 understand what it what 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 happens. Uh, follow this video. So basically you start where your blender is installed. Mine is in documents It's not installed in program files But it works the same way. So basically in every blender Folders you have this release folder and within that you have a bunch of um, DLL and exe files and so on, but we focus on the on the on the version folder and within that the Python folder where you can find the bin when finally you can find the, the, the Python uh, executable file and uh, we will we will build um, or we will install everything from there so basically you start right click and uh, open sorry you start right click and you open a PowerShell which is the, the um, Windows uh, command. You also have maybe Linux shell from here, but uh, from for, for this uh, Python, we will need the PowerShell. Sorry. So here it is. It's very basic. And uh, what should work as, as is, is first to check the, your Python version. So basically I, I started to type Python and then hit tab and uh, you can ask the version of it so it's uh, minus V I don't see I, I don't know if you can see the, the all the characters here oops So we use the PowerShell from this location and we type Python and tab and it will execute the local Python here and we can check the version so it's minus double minus version and we can see that we have Python 3.7.4 installed for, um, for Blender uh, Blender 2282. Two. Um, so next step is just to check if you have pip installed. So it's Python module ensure pip. And pip is not installed. So what can you do? You need to install pip and uh, basically all you need to do is to visit, visit pip website which is pip.pypa.io slash en stable installing and from there you want to uh, to grab the, the 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 get pip pi script uh curl might be installed on windows usually but not all the time oops okay
All right, so we can see that the get pip Python script is installed locally. So now, basically, what we do is just installed, just install the get pip command without the module. Sorry. Okay, so now actually pip was installed, but when it was invoked, it was not working. So I don't know what happened, but pip 20 is installed now. So the previous command about ensure pip should work. No. Okay. And let's see. Never mind. Let's see if it works. So Python module pip install. And we need to install, we need to, we don't need to upgrade pip since, since it's the last version. So we need to install OpenCV and I will go through these ones one by one so you can understand what is not working. So OpenCV is already installed but if it not if it's not installed it will install at uh, uh, with the script then you want to install OpenCV contrib Python. All right. I am utils. NumPy. NumPy. And so the final requirement that you want to install is dlib and uh, dlib is sometimes hard to find oops sorry uh, actually at the end of January 2020, it's available, uh, it's cached. So the wheel, or at least the source, seems to be available. And from there, you can build the wheel for your version. So it's DLib 19, but you see that it's, it's crashing. So the solution I have for you is that the, 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 easiest, the easiest way is to download the version I uh, I put temporarily on GitHub uh, you can find it at realistis slash dlib1918 egg for Python 3.7.4 for Windows 60 64 bytes bits sorry 64 bits and uh, and basically you just install it so you 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 can click on the zip and from there you download it locally and you will install it under lib and in lib you have the site packages oops I thought it was downloaded, but it's not. All right. No, it was downloaded. Sorry, 
I just have my uh, Windows that doesn't update. Oh no, okay. It's okay, so if you open it, you can see that it's just a folder with all the, the Python stuff. So basically what we want to do is just to put it to put this folder within site package. Okay. So you have this egg inside the site, pack site package. And then All right, sorry for uh, the interruption. So now that you've copied the dlib folder within the site packages inside the library folder, uh, you can simply install it with the Python command. So pip install dlib user and it will say that the re requirement is already satisfied because the it can see the dlib library egg within the library site packages folders folder so uh, from there you can follow up with the with the other video to install the python, python scripts and uh, run the opencv hope you have a good time with that and uh, sorry for uh, all the all the mess in this video but at least i did it before the end of january <laughs> have a nice year <laughs> see you soon and don't forget to subscribe if you want and uh, and support us at uh, patreon bye bye